Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central and we got the Microsoft Surface dial. I'm just going to give you a first impression and then answer a few questions that some of you guys have about this device, including what does it actually do and do you need it? Uh, we're going to take it out of the box here. Now you can order this from Microsoft Direct right now. It is $99, which is actually not too bad for this accessory. Uh, this is it. <laughs> it's basically a cylindrical de type device. The bottom here is held on by a uh, it's magnet, which is kind of cool actually. And of course you got your double A batteries and there is the Bluetooth pairing button and you just basically attach it that way. So pretty cool. Now what really makes this device unique, of course, is the rubber bottom here to use a special laser to etch in some patterns. Now, of course, this is originally designed for the Surface Studio, but you can use it with any Windows 10 PC out there. So you don't actually need a Surface to use this. And it will work right out of the box with anything running anniversary update. Of course, you can't put it on the display. Instead, you just lay it down next to the device that you are using, and you can use it just that way. Now, supposedly a firmware update is coming to the Surface Book and Surface Pro 4 in early 2017 that will allow you to use it on the display. Okay, so right out of the box, you can do some cool things with this. So it does act as a volume control, for instance, on your computer. Now, I wouldn't go spend $99 just so you can rotate your volume, but I just wanna show you, it does have like OS hooks into it already. Now, if you wanna switch basically things you can do, you press down on it, and it does a quick vibrate. And you see that little wheel pop up on the display. And now I can switch it to say brightness. So now I can basically control how dim and bright I want. Now, what is neat about the Surface Dial, of course, is the granular control. So this is obviously a lot more fine than using the slider or even the keyboard shortcut on the Surface. And that's kind of where the magic is for this device. It's very precision orientated and it's kind of neat. Now over here in settings, we do have what are called wheel settings. So you can see here, I have my choose default tools. I can add things such as undo, zoom, scroll, brightness, and custom tool. If you choose custom, you can then scroll down and you can basically choose different shortcuts, what you want to do for it. It's actually a really neat thing. I don't use these, but I could see developers definitely using these as well as artists and creative types who want specific shortcuts to use with the wheel. One of the other native apps that supports Surface Dial right now is Maps, so you can basically use it to zoom in and out, which is really nice. Again, you get that nice granular control. If you do press down, however, you get the vibrate and it shows this tool on the display. You can do things like rotate the map around, which is definitely useful as well, or we can also change the tilt. So we're going to do that here, and you can see it move around. And what's neat is the Surface Dial vibrates a little bit as I'm doing this. I'm getting some tactile feedback on it. Another neat trick you can do is if you just tap it once, it'll actually do that function. So here I'm rotating around the screen and now it's just doing it automatically, which is kind of a neat visual experience. Another app that supports it, of course, is Groove. So here I can basically control the volume. Not, nothing too crazy. You can also do things like play and pause. You can also do things like scroll or scrub the track, which is kind of neat. Of course, the real use for Surface Dial, at least for right now, is going to be with drawing apps. So here I am with Sketchable, one of the top apps for the Surface right now. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff here, like go through the history. So I have a little scribble here I was doing. And I can basically repeat the history and undo the whole thing. You can, of course, do all sorts of other functions, including navigation, which is kind of neat. You can zoom in and out. You can also choose basically different levels and things you want to do there. Uh, brush is going to be a big one. You can basically choose the brush size as you're drawing. So we can go really thin there, and then we're going to get a lot thicker as we get bigger here. And you can see all that is just really neat. You do this basically while you're keeping your hand on the screen, which is, of course, what ours is going to really appreciate. Uh, also, being able to change the color of the brush while you're drawing is definitely a useful feature. Forgive me drawing outside the lines, art teacher, but I'm not very good. So that's your first look at Surface Dial. It's a really cool accessory, and I'm looking forward to see what developers do with it over the next few months. Remember, because it's an open API, devs can just put it into any app out there. Now, do I recommend you go and get it right now for $99? Well, if you're an artist, yeah, definitely. I can see this helping you a lot. If you're a non-artist, though, I would wait a little while. It's a $99 volume control and zoom knob, which is not exactly the best use of it. Still, it's pretty fun. Just watch this space and see what devs do with it. And we'll, of course, keep you posted on that information. Thanks for watching and head to Windows Central for more information. Take care, everybody.